Hi doctor, I have this ClinJack just about ready to approve. From the initial ClinJack, there are a number of unnecessary movements and I got those cleaned up, so to speak, by uh, writing these into the CAD designers and now I'm looking at the final movements here. Uh, so when I look through, uh, we can't expand very much through the left side premolars because there is an implant present. Uh, I think there's more expansion that could be done on the right side premolars, so I can do that with the 3D controls. Uh, whenever there is some intrusion or a deep bite needed, I want to finish with more inner occlusal space, so I'm going to increase the IPR in the areas where there are black triangles, just make it easier for myself to access as well as the finish for the patient. I want to talk about the lower movements. Uh, so we've eliminated uh, the majority of the mesiodistal angulation. And now I'm looking at uh, 22. So it mostly needs to rotate. That's what I would expect the patient to be looking for. Uh, but when we look at it this way, in the help of the tooth movements table, we can see that there is almost a millimeter of extrusion. The rotation attachment does not do extrusion very well. Also, intrusion does not happen 100% clinically as what we see on the ClinJack. And to reestablish some canine guidance and protect the lower anterior teeth, I generally want to see the lower anterior teeth about a millimeter lower than the canines. So this is where I'll just go ahead and use the 3D controls to get what I'm looking for there. So I'm going to take away the majority of that extrusion. And then I'm going to visually intrude these until they are far lower than the canine cusp tips. Yes, this is going to increase the number of aligners, but it's also going to improve the overall outcome. So with that, we can see more interocclusal space on the ClinJack. That makes me feel much better that we wouldn't finish with an anterior interference, aka a posterior open bite. And then here, I'm just switching up where the IPR is to have it be more focused where the black triangles would be. So that looks more appropriate to me. I generally like to see at least a millimeter visual space between the upper and lower arches when there's a deep bite. And I'm really not shy about how much inner occlusal space because I have yet to create too much where it became a problem as intrusion is always one of those movements that lags behind. So when we ever we see a premolar with a little bit of a lingual inclination, then I want to upright that and then do uh, as much expansion as I can that looks like it fits within the arch form. Since I did that on the upper arch, I need to make similar changes to the lower arch, of course. And then this becomes a bit of just a visual game to get the teeth aligned again. There we go. So that does look better. And then because this is an implant, we certainly can still keep that attachment and we'd wanna keep that retention attachment. Uh, but now I can say, might as well not even try to move uh, the adjacent premolar because um, it probably already has some good contact points and that will just increase our anchorage and predictability of the other teeth. So from here, I can fortunately use the live update tool, and then we'll have a ClinJack that is ready to approve. I'll pause the video and then we'll look over it again. Okay, here we have it, and the IPR is being planned later. So I'm going to carefully look if there is round tripping that was planned in. And I honestly don't think it is. I think the movements are just staged in a different way where uh, this incisor comes buckle first and then the other incisors come to meet it. Round tripping would be if the teeth came out and then back in. And for my secret sauce, I'm going to over treat uh, the 
chief concerns or the biggest rotations that the patient would visually notice. Rotation is a relatively easy movement to do, but I do find that the PDL and bone can, uh, can work against us a bit. So I'm going to add a few more degrees of rotation here. And the upper incisor was mesial out to start off. So on the clin check, I'm going to make it just a little bit mesial in. Uh, that way we can really make sure that we have that push because I hate falling short of the goal. Whoops, undo. Didn't mean to click that. Now, now I think we are just about perfect. And I'm going to add Dr. Galler's secret sauce of attachments for lower anterior intrusion. And we are ready to rock and roll with this ClinCheck. Thanks so much.